Today we're diving into the exotic wonders of St. Martin's Island right here in beautiful Bangladesh. St. Martin Island is a hidden gem boasting incredible natural beauty that will leave you spellbound. Whether you're an adventurer seeking adrenaline pumping activities or a beach lover looking for the perfect spot to unwind, St. Martin Island has it all. So grab your sunscreen, pack your bags and join us on this exploration to one of Bangladesh's hidden treasures. St. Martin, Michael, how are you feeling? St. Martin! Our journey begins in the bustling city of Dhaka. We hit the road, driving for hours, crossing lush landscapes and witnessing the mesmerizing countryside of Bangladesh. We board the ferry, eager to set sail across the Bay of Bengal, and as we leave the harbor, something magical happens. The ferry leaves a trail of excitement in its wake. Dozens of seagulls gracefully soar through the air, following the ship, as if guiding us towards our island paradise. The ferry ride is an interesting experience in itself. This island being open to the public only for a few months every year because of the strong currents in the Bay of Bengal. And we just got off the boat, it's a complete craze here. Yes, we just got off this boat. Actually, no, we just got off that boat. And then you have another boat here, which is the big one. And there's a lot of boats here, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of things here in a port. We have to go to the island now, let's check it out. And explore the island properly, like true explorers. Bam, 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 bam. So many people here, Gigi, a lot of them. I wonder, are they going to the same place that we are going? I, I guess so. so. Yeah, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But definitely that all the everybody is going up St. Martin's. Maybe for the first time, maybe not. Look at these boats. Oh my goodness, a lot of boats. And just look at the color of the water, man. This is so pretty. And we have boats there more. Wow, more boats. I think there might be a few hundred people here. It's crazy. A lot of so people. many people here, Gigi. So much confusion. I don't know what to do. But follow the people like this and then follow the crowd. Yeah, let's go. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. The water is like a bright green kind of a color we've seen in the Philippines. It's really beautiful, guys. I wonder how it's like to swim in these waters. I understand why so many people come here, but I didn't believe it until I saw it with our own eyes. Gigi, look, there are two more boats coming. Oh, yes, guys. There are other more boats here. There's a military boat somewhere in the background. Did you know that here St. Martin is a military post? I didn't know that. Hey. Hello. <laughs> okay. Every day around 11, boat fine. comes in. And every day around three, boat goes out. So That's boat right. comes in with people, yes, yes. and it costs from 1,000 till 2,000 taka a piece, a pop, a ticket, a spot on the boat, which you have to reserve before. Otherwise, no going to St. Martin. That's right, so make sure you get the tickets first. Yes, otherwise you can haggle with them at the counter, but uh, it's not gonna be fun. Plus you go to the island for vacation, not for uh, haggling and uh, struggling and doing all sorts of ugling. That's right. So let's go to the island, guys. Let's okay. But before we dive into the island's natural wonders, let's explore the vibrant market. It's a local source of crafts and unique souvenirs. Our eyes are immediately drawn to the shell necklaces, each one a work of art representing the island's coastal heritage. Please. One five or four charge? Five zero. Five zero. Four charge. Four charge. Hello, assalamu alaikum, mamu. Uh, tanda lemon, I say? Lemon. Lemon, yes, G. Or mojo, or I don't know. What do you have? Mountain Dew. Do it. One for me. And one for you. Don't know about one Okay, let's have some drinks. Butter, You want to get coffee or some chai? No, okay. Butter, butter. How are you?
Oh yeah. Very hot outside. Here. Only garam. No, no. Amar desh Romania. Romania. Amar naam Michael. Michael. Yes. Ab ka naam si kisi? Amar na hai Amar Roman. Amar Roman. Acha. Nice video. No no what. Only moja. Mountain jo. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh man, Gigi, so hot here. I think after we go to the after we finish with the market area, I think we need to get the, some uh, swimming because no more. Hey, how are you? Hey. Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Much. Okay. Coconut, bye. Okay. No, thank you. Now I just want to go to the beach, which is not here. Why? Interesting beach they have here on Saint Martin. I wonder what's on this side. Take the camera, I cannot go up there. Come, come, come. I cannot, man. Come, come, come. Take the camera. Come, come, come. Hi. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting beach, Gigi. We are on top of huge stacks of uh, sand. Sitting down overlooking the big sea. And there's a warship there somewhere in the background. And a small beach over there. And some people taking selfie over there. Hey, Joy Wangwa! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yes, and everything else is kind of nice around here. Let's go and explore more. We started off exploring the beach, meeting a few fans and look at the shells washed away on the shore. And looks like we went into the beach somehow, in a way. It's kind of an empty beach, or I don't know, only some coconuts here. Good enough, Gigi, right? Yes, Michael. Let's go look around. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, very salty. Very, very, very salty. But nice and cold and refreshing. After all this traveling, we start to feel hungry and looking for food. St. Martin Island offers a feast for your taste buds. Mouth-watering seafood delicacies prepared by the local fishermen themselves. From succulent grilled fish to fresh fish curries, every bite will make you feel like you're in a foodie paradise. After such a big meal shared with friends, we need to take a break back to our accommodation and chill for a second before our next adventure. And this is our accommodation guys, really pretty, really nice, a lot of uh, green space here, a lot of shade, some hammocks some spaces to sit and just enjoy the vibe of St. Martin's Island and if you were wondering like how much does it cost here per night it is um, I think 2,000 or 3,000 per room we got a deal with 2,000 per room for four people so that's good uh, prices may vary though on the location and uh, the utilities now all rested finally we make our way to the beach the powdery white sand stretch as far as the eyes can see washed by the crystal clear turquoise water of the bay of bengal we start off with a tour of the island looking for a private spot where to jump in the water it's the kind of place that instantly makes you feel at peace a paradise where time seems to stand still Today we're going to show you the island through the eyes of us who are experiencing it for the first time. Very excited to be here guys, super excited. Finally we made it to St. Martin's with Michael, with our good friends from here. Shout out to everyone, shout out to Borhan, shout out to Raka, shout out to Takib and to Minar and to everyone making this journey possible. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, for being our friends. 
and for bringing us here to this beautiful piece of paradise. You're gonna see all the beaches here, you're gonna hear the beach, we're gonna walk on corals and uh, it is beautiful, it's an oasis of calm and relaxation, isn't that right guys? <laughs> Apparently it's right because everybody's so relaxed. No one's talking to each other. Michael, you became our new uh, villager here. Uh, Mangovala? Sending, uh, yeah, Mangovala. Wait, wait, I don't have enough hands. I'm, I'm literally holding a lot of stuff here. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Borhan just like went into the ladies' snacks. We're waiting for tea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we found ourselves a special recreational spot here and we have been swimming for the whole two hours, three hours, I don't know, we've been swimming and enjoying the beautiful beach here in St. Martin's. Beautiful spot, beautiful place, amazing waves, a lot of sand inside the water. For, I don't know like it's a long stretch of sand and it feels so so nice you can come here in a, in a bathing suit like a normal one like you don't have to be like fully dressed because there's no people here no people and the whole beach is to ourselves so I love this place there's like quiet huts here nearby and uh, people just like uh, rent them out but so far it's amazing, so quiet, so peaceful and uh, not so, the sun is not so strong the perfect breeze here in Bangladesh who would have thought? who would have thought? beautiful it's better, this beach honestly is better than the Changu beach in Bali honestly said like the waves are better, it's cleaner the water is more fun, it's more wild and uh, yeah really really amazing place okay okay guys so we're chilling now michael yes you okay i'm wet why because i fell in the water <laughs> i stepped on a rock and i fell and now my head is wet and my everything is wet it's dripping yeah. when everything is cool we're here with the gang all is well yeah, everybody's nice. having a good time what are cookies Coconut. We're having snacks and we're breathing the salty fresh air from the yeah. water and probably... And we are coconutting away underneath the coconut. <laughs> Not really because coconuts are 180 taka. Can you fucking believe that shit? <laughs> so we're not coconutting anything because the coconuts one are 180 taka. So yeah, yeah. that's like two dollars, one dollar something. Yeah. Yeah, for coconut here it's but pretty expensive. Where do you place a coconut? It shouldn't be that expensive. Huh? Yeah, coconuts actually grow here. Ah, let's see. <laughs> Too many people. Too many people. Yeah. Beautiful beach nonetheless, beautiful. Ready for some adrenaline? We're heading out on an epic adventure to the southernmost point of South Asia. We navigate through rugged terrain, capturing incredible views along the way. It's a daring experience. A long journey that will leave you in awe of nature's wonders and with a personal record thanks to our friends willing to guide and join us. And just like that, through the miracle of time, we made it to the deep. Gigi, we are at the deep. Where are the deep? Yes, we are at the deep and we're going on the road through the middle of the atoll kind of place, Gigi, to the deep. The deep is kind of like uh, an atoll or an island or I don't know, something. So we're gonna go check it out to go to see the, the southernmost point of Bangladesh. Yay! Let's go. Let's go to the southern point of Bangladesh. Oh, and here there's a lot of uh, rickshaws and a lot of uh, low tide and a lot of corals and a lot of um, interesting uh, things and crabs and stuff. So yeah, you might uh, imagine what on the other side of the deep it is like. I'm looking forward to going there. Gigi, 
Yes, I'm very excited because many people told us it's a great chance to see the dip while you have a low tide because the water goes back so, so, so much. You can see. I think you're an island, on a very special island. Yeah. Even the boats, they decided not to move anymore because the water went away. So now we are going on the sandbar towards the dip. Look, Gigi, we have some fish. Fish. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Mmm, the smell of Bangladesh in the evening. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Ye mona cho mamu. Balo balo balo. Balo, very good. Kote kaise? Very good. To the deep. Deep. I don't. To the deep, Gigi. We are going uh, that way. That way. Southernmost point of Bangladesh. Yes, very good. So we're here to see the sunset, as Michael told you already. It's really beautiful. The sunset just the sun just decided to go inside the clouds for a few seconds and I hope it's gonna come back again. Um, we're on the land strip and on the left side and on the right side we'll have corals and uh, beyond the the corals we have the tide and the water. So Gigi, do you like the uh, island that I brought you on? Um, it's really pretty. It's beautiful. It's unique. And it's the southernmost point of Bangladesh. Which we haven't re reached there yet. And uh, my hair is going all over the places. But okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie it up. Wait a second. You have a very nice uh, view here in the evening over the sunset and over everything. This is a very nice spot and very, very chill place and you have over here the sea and you have over here uh, the sea again and nothing more peaceful than the sea keeping you calm and relaxed till you reach your deep hi hello Salam okay deep number one over there deep number two over here Going to the deep mission attempted and mission continuing. Oh, my, we've been walking for the, the whole day. Two hours since the whole day. we stopped uh, swimming. Yes, and the whole day we walked. I can feel the blisters, and my shoes are big. But Borhan here is a hero. He's the we have like, we're like 200 meters far away from the southernmost point. We are walking on the deep, going to the end. We are walking on the deep, we are going to the end. Yay! Gigi is coming slower, but she is going to the deep. Deep. We are going to the deep and we have reached the deep. Wow, it's such a beautiful pink color, guys. The deep is amazing and look at the sky, Gigi. Woo, we made it. We made it. Bangladesh, this is your most southern tip and we are spearheading your island in a minute. Yay. Let's see. Just a little bit more, push it, Gigi, push it. Push it, Gigi. Push Hello. it more. Papa shed rain again. Hello. Salam alaikum. Hey, very good. Habibi, yalla, yalla. Coconut. No coconut. Now, end of Bangladesh. End of Bangladesh. Bra 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 Hello to you bro Romania Romania Very good Hey Romania Germania potato potato Now time for my favorite activity to do in the evening on a beach going through this uh, thing and rocks towards the end of your country. Interesting. 
I feel like I'm on a moon, Gigi. Oh my God. That's how it's supposed like. like. Yes. Planet. Yes, you are on Mars. Welcome to Mars. And especially in sunset. It's like. Welcome I'm... to Mars, Gigi. Thank you, Michael. You are on Mars now. Put a wish. What do you want from Mars to give you? Oh my god. All the good stuff I assume. Now that we're like at the southernmost point of Bangladesh, I just want to come here over and over and over and over and over again to be with my friends, happy and uh, joyful. And, uh, Joy Bangla. Maybe with you guys too. <laughs> yes, and overlook the entire ocean. And just like that, I have made it to the southernmost tip of Bangladesh. From here, only ocean and ocean and ocean. And here is where Bangladesh is starting. Okay, nice. I made it to the tip of Bangladesh. Gigi, come quicker. Come on, Gigi, the flood is coming. It's very hard. It's very slippery. Our friend just uh, took a wrong step. He's okay, but we're gonna have to go to back to him now. Yes. We made it, Gigi. We made it to the southernmost point of Bangladesh, guys. Incredible. Woo. Thank you, guys. And now we have to leave because the tide, the tide is coming. Is coming. Yeah, we have to be very fast. And we are in the middle of the water. Okay, guys. Let's go. We're happy to be done this. Thank you so much for supporting us. Yo, guys, we made it. Are you guys tired? Yeah. yeah. And now we have to go all the way back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. And Warhan is there. He's okay. Nightfall catches us by surprise as the tides rise and we find ourselves riding bikes through the darkness. The 10 kilometers journey back is filled with excitement and anticipation, making memories that will last a lifetime. Now, as luck would have it, a power outage adds an unexpected twist to our evening, but hey, it turns into a romantic adventure. We find ourselves in a cozy spot, enjoying a candlelight dinner while savoring the flavors of the island. It's moments like these that make travel truly unforgettable. Nice. We have to eat this at the light of a um, a headlight because there's like no electricity now. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yum. Mm. It's good, yummy. Mm. The best fish ever. Oh, beautiful. Yum. It's, it's really good fish, right? Mm. Amazing. This is the fish, guys. It has a really, really white meat. And it's sweet. It's, it's delicious. It's really nice. Cooked. It's um, fried here on the outside with a lot of condiments, but it's not spicy, it's perfectly balanced. Really tasty. And very hot, because it's fresh. <laughs> oh, let's see. Mm. Enjoy your meal, guys. And just like that, our two-day adventure on St. Martin Island comes to an end. The memories we've made, the beauty we've witnessed, it has been nothing short of amazing. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Thank you, Borhan. Thank you, Raka and Sakib. And to all of our friends here in Bangladesh, remember, the world is waiting for you to explore it. And poof, through the miracle of time, we are back on the jetty, preparing to go back to Bangladesh. Gigi, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave either, but... Oh. All I these people want to leave, and I don't want to leave. Back now. I yes, I want to stay here. I want to build a house, build a boat conquer the world and make Bangladesh my home. Yes.
Anyway, we have to go because the boats are there. They're waiting for us. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and show us some love to make us come here back in uh, Saint yes. Martin. And also, by the way, yeah. best snacks ever. Enjoy <laughs> Bangla. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye, Saint Martin.